The most powerful people in Washington, and many feel his departure means Nevada will lose a lot of clout. Action News reporter Michael Lepardi has more on that. Senator Harry Reid's announcement in Washington, I'm not going to run for election, will likely have a big impact back home in Nevada. He wants to go out at the top of his game. Michael Green is a professor of history at UNLV. It is bad news for Nevada, and it is bad news whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. Reid rose to Senate Democratic leader, making him one of the most powerful people in Washington. Former Senator and Nevada Governor Richard Bryant says that's clout Nevada is losing. One may not agree with the Senator policies, one may not agree with his style, but no fair-minded person would deny that he is very effective and powerful. Reed worked with lawmakers to see Red Rock designated as a national conservation area. He helped secure funding for the counterterrorism center. He also called banks during construction of city center, helping MGM get money to finish the project. Senator Reed was an advocate for uh, the interest of his state. Most notably, Reed fought to kill funding on plans to dump nuclear waste at Yucca Mountain. But the senator was also polarizing. He could be feisty and blunt during press briefings, and he made enemies shepherding President Obama's agenda through Congress. He knows how to get things done, and he's not afraid to use uh, the force of his position. Love him or hate him, many say Reed always fought for Nevada. Both Senator Bryan and Professor Green tell me they believe Reed was genuine in his reasons for stepping aside and don't believe he's afraid of what could have been a tough re-election fight in 2016. Michael Lopardi, Channel 13, Action News. President Obama released a statement on Reed's announcement saying he's become a good friend with Reed during his time in office and he's proud of everything they've accomplished together. Governor Brian Sandoval also weighed in, saying Reed's service to Nevada spans almost a half century, and he's been an influential voice in Congress.